Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in Accenture on 9th Feb 2022. Guys, total two videos I will be posting. In this video, I will be discussing the one question, and in the next video, I will be discussing the second question. So make sure that you watch this till the end and also subscribe to this channel because in past also I have made many Accenture related videos as well as I have made uh, videos for different companies. Both interview experiences as well as the questions relating asked in those companies. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join my Telegram groups. Also, I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions relating asked in them. All the links you will find in the description box. So make sure to subscribe it because next video will also be coming. And do not skip any part of this video and make sure to watch this video till the end. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the question that was asked. Then we will be discussing the approach of this question, and in the last part of this video, I will be writing the exact code that uh, that will pass all the test cases in the exam. So the question here is: In Java, braces are used to group statements and declaration together. Each opening braces should be accompanied with a closing braces. That is, see, this type of braces should be uh, should be accompanied with this type of braces. Otherwise, compilation of code would result in a failure. given a piece of code determine whether the code will give a compilation error or not so what we are told we are given the set of braces in the java code now we all know that if the set of the braces will be balanced then the compilation error will not be happening as per this question but when those java braces are unbalanced then uh, then the uh, compilation error will be there so let's just see uh, better uh, let's just understand this thing with the help of an example sample input and sample output so first question is this see here you can see that three opening braces are given and two closing braces are given so these are not balanced braces because for balanced braces each opening braces must be accompanied with a closing braces but three balanced uh, three opening braces are given but only two closing braces are given so it is not balanced so here therefore it will result in a compilation error next uh, next input is see here here one clo uh, opening braces is given then the closing braces is given so once the closing braces is given so this these two braces have become uh, balanced now you can now see now again and closing braces is given but for balanced closing braces should always be given after the uh, after the opening braces so once here here it was opening braces that was given then the closing braces were given was given so it means that these two braces got cancelled out now now this uh, straight away closing braces is given so therefore now the uh, braces are not balanced and therefore it will give us compilation error now moving ahead in the next example you can see first the opening braces is given then the closing braces is given it means that these two braces got cancelled out again the opening braces is given closing braces is given again they got cancelled out again opening again closing that's why they have got cancelled out so in the end all the set of the braces were uh, balanced and therefore our result was successful now doing uh, the same thing with this let's see so uh, so uh, it is not necessary that after every uh, just after every uh, closing braces uh, sorry opening braces closing braces is given so for example let's see here so first opening braces is given then again opening braces is given then again opening braces is given then the closing braces is given so it means that these two braces got cancelled out now again the closing braces is given it means that now these two braces these two braces have been cancelled out so now there is no closing braces left but there was an op opening braces that is left so therefore these two uh, these braces are not balanced so therefore again it will give us a compilation error so this was the cause that this particular input was giving us the compilation error so now i hope the question is clear to you now let's just see the approach that how we will be solving this question and in the last part of the video we will be seeing the code okay so guys now we will be seeing the approach i will be i will be dry running the code on two inputs that is one input is this and another input also i will be dry running the code make sure that you do not skip any part of this approach because once you understand the approach the writing of the code will be very easy for you so what we'll do we we are giving the input string that contains of opening and closing braces so it is simple what we'll do we'll simply iterate over the entire string so one by one one by one character character we will iterate over the entire string we will be using a stack approach this is a stack this is a stack now what we'll do initially we are at this position 
now we will see that whether this bracket is an opening bracket or a closing bracket so we can see that this is an opening bracket so if it is an opening bracket we will simply we will not do anything we will simply add that opening bracket to our stack now what we'll do we will move ahead now again it is an opening bracket so once we have encountered an opening bracket we will do nothing but enter it in a enter it in a stack now we are moving ahead again we have seen an opening bracket again we will enter in our stack now moving to next uh, next character now it is in closing bracket so wh when it is in closing bracket what we will do see once it is in closing bracket what we will do we will pop the topmost element from the stack because on the uh, in this stack only opening brackets are present but whenever we encounter closing bracket in the string what we'll do is we'll simply pop out the topmost element from the stack so this was the this was the only role uh, this is we have to do only when we have encountered a closing bracket so now we have encountered the closing bracket now what we'll do we'll pop out the topmost element from the stack so this is simple now again we are moving to the next uh, next bracket now again it is in closing bracket so what we'll do we'll simply pop out the topmost uh, topmost bracket from the stack that is this this particular bracket so again so again we have popped out the two brackets now we have come to the end of our string so here it is in end of the string so if at the end of the string if our stack is empty if our stack is empty we will uh, we will return if our stack is empty so just a second uh, if end of string so if end so i will write uh, write the code after this approach so if end if our stack is empty if stack empty if our stack is empty it means that the braces that were given to us were balanced they were balanced that is no compilation error but if the stack was not empty that is else if the stack was not empty there there are unbalanced bracket that are given to us and we will return the compilation error so in this case compilation error will come that is when this end of the string stack is not empty when the stack is empty that means the uh, braces are balanced then we will give the uh, then we will uh, give the successful message okay so this was the first input that we have done but please do not go ahead and write the code because there is a certain single case where you will be finding yourself difficulty so let let me just try run the same approach on the second input also the things will be more clear to you okay so again we have a stack that is initially empty okay so what we'll do we are in this starting we are at this particular uh, this particular uh, character now it is an opening bracket so once we have encountered an opening bracket we will do nothing but enter it in a stack now we are at the next bracket now next bracket is a closing bracket so we will do nothing but when we have encountered a closing bracket what we will do we will pop out the topmost element from the stack we will pop out the topmost element from the stack so this means now our stack is empty now now we have moved to next character now again we have now again we have encountered a closing bracket and whenever we encounter a closing bracket what we do we we pop out the topmost element from the stack but you can see that this particular stack is empty this particular stack is empty so when we have encountered a closing bracket when we have encountered a closing bracket and the stack is empty it always means it it always means that when we have encountered a closing bracket and a stack is empty it always means that our what we can say that our brackets are not balanced that is we will get a compilation error brackets are not balanced so this was the case i was i i was tried to tell you earlier that is when we encounter a closing bracket and a stack is already emptied it means we will return a compilation error that means the brackets are not balanced and if at the end of the string in, like in first like in first thing if in the end of the string our stack is empty then the balance brackets are balanced and if the stack is not empty then the brackets are not balanced so i will be now writing the code so if the approach is clear to you writing of the code will be very simple but if there are still doubts in your mind please see the code that i will be writing so now let's just move to the editor 
ओके सो गाइज हेयर इज द कोड फॉर सेविंग द टाइम आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न द कोड आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू दिस कोड लाइन बाय लाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट वी हैव डन वी इन एक्सटेंशन वी जस्ट हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट द फंक्शन वी विल बी गिविंग द वी विल बी गेटिंग द इनपुट एंड वी हैव वी आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू रिटर्न अ पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट वी डू वी विल डिक्लेअर अ कैरेक्टर स्टैक दैट इज दिस इज हाउ वी विल डिक्लेअर इट सो इनिशियली द स्टैक विल बी एम्प्टी नाउ एज आई एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट वी विल बी इटरेटिंग ओवर द स्ट्रिंग वी विल बी इटरेटिंग ओवर द स्ट्रिंग कैरेक्टर बाय कैरेक्टर so for int i is equal to 0 i less than s dot s dot length i plus plus now we will be checking at every character we will be checking whether it is an opening bracket or an closing bracket so like i have told you in this approach for every iteration we will be for every character we will be checking whether it is an opening bracket or it is an closing bracket so if it is an opening bracket so if it is an opening bracket then what you do we just simply have to we just simply have to put uh, push that particular character in the stack that is this is how we if if it is an opening bracket so we will simply push that character into the stack so this is how we are doing it else else means if it is an closing bracket so all the logic lies here only that if it is an closing bracket so like in this case see these two brackets got balanced out then we got a closing bracket so if it is an closing bracket we will have to first check whether our stack is empty or not so like in this case we got in closing bracket and the stack was empty so if it was empty it means that the brackets are not balanced so if this stack is empty it means that brackets are not balanced so we will simply return false from here this is the case when we have got the closing bracket and our stack is empty but what if we have got the closing bracket and our stack is not empty and our stack is not empty like in this case so when we were got the closing bracket our stack was not empty we have popped the topmost element from the stack we have popped the topmost element from the stack you can see here else that is if the stack is not empty we have popped the topmost element from the stack so this particular thing we have to do for every character while iterating over the string now once our string is once our string is iterated entirely that is we have visited every character in the string now there is an end of the string that is now there is an end of the for loop so once there is an end of the for loop how we will check whether our brackets are balanced or not if at the end of the for loop if our stack is empty if our stack is empty then it means that the brackets were balanced and if our stack was not empty then it means the brackets are not balanced so what we'll do after the for loop for loop we will simply return st dot empty so it if the stack was empty it will return true that is our brackets are balanced if our stack was not empty it will return false that is uh that is uh, our brackets are not balanced so let just uh, give in some inputs so first of all i have given only the three opening brackets and we all know that these are not balanced so again we will ru be running it so it will give us zero so let's just wait for the answer okay so you can see that it is giving us zero that is brackets are not balanced now let's just let me just give it three closing brackets also so now you can see that these brackets are balanced so it will give us one as an output okay oh uh, just okay so you can see it is giving us one that is true the brackets are balanced now let's just try on different test cases like this opening closing and closing again opening closing and closing we all know that these are not balanced so it will give us zero okay so you can see that this is giving us zero that the brackets are not balanced so guys this is how we will be doing this particular question and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button share it with your friends and also join the telegram groups that are given in the description box and do not forget to subscribe this channel because next question of the accenture is also coming on this channel thank you for watching this video